What's going on, everyone? Mike O back, and it is time for a mail day recap. This is a bunch of mail from a couple weeks. We'll call this a good old fashioned mail bin, and it is uh, pretty big. So, gonna uh, spend a little while on this video, but gotta catch up on the mail and figured, hey, why not do it here on YouTube? So, let's see what we got. Uh, this is stuff that's been picked up again in the last several weeks, and I have some idea of some of it, but not everything offhand, so we'll see uh, what we got here. So there'll be a little bit of mail opening on this video, but we'll try and do it as quick as possible as I take a while with the first one. So, we got a slab card here, and it is an old school slab. It is a 1936 S&S &S game, Chuck Klein, PSA 5. So this is one I've needed for a while for the Phillies collection. I'm doing a uh, huge run of slabbed Phillies cards from, you know, basically their entire existence. Anything from the late 1800s up through current day stuff, but major focus lately on vintage. So... This is one that I've been uh, chasing about for a little while. It's more of a game card than an actual baseball card, but when eBay had a sale, I jumped on this, uh, made some offers, and got it. Chuck Klein was a fantastic player, and uh, really happy to pick this one up for the PC. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I would say it was probably around $25 or so, so not a super expensive edition. We got something coming here in Saran Wrap. So we'll see. Hopefully nothing uh, too overly interesting uh, packaging-wise. I've been pretty lucky lately. Most of the stuff I've picked up has been pretty well packaged and not overly complicated. Like this one. I guess Saran Wrap did the job, and I'd rather that than just the card be thrown there. But Saran Wrap's not the easiest thing to get around. So, let's see what we got here. Another vintage pickup. This is a 1950 Callahan Hall of Fame. Little mini there. PSA 7 of Grover Alexander. So, Grover Cleveland Alexander. Hall of Famer. Fantastic pitcher for the Phils. Way back in the early 1900s. And... His stuff is super expensive from his playing days. I didn't really know anything about this set. Uh, just kind of came across it kind of accidentally while browsing eBay. And I think I won this one at auction for about $7 or so. So not an expensive pickup. Uh, looks awesome though. Really cool looking addition to the collection. So I'm just always happy to pick up uh, different stuff. Kind of different looking stuff. Things I don't have for the Phillies collection. And then, if you're new to the channel, I do uh, certainly enjoy collecting modern and vintage. So, a little bit of everything. What do we got here? Uh, this is a lot of Luis Araz for the Minnesota Twins. I was following this on eBay, and I bought it mostly for the refractor. The refractors are tough in Chrome Update. And as a bonus, I got a couple holiday cards and some paper tops update and some chrome uh, tops chrome update. But here's the main focus: the refractor. This guy's a uh, contact hitter, guy who hits for a high average, not a ton of power. And uh, I know a lot of people here on YouTube like it. When I pulled his autograph out of a chrome update box, I had a lot of people said, "Hey, if you're not keeping that, I'm interested." So. I've been kind of following him a little bit and picked this one up. I'll look at some of these here and see if any of them are grading worthy when I send in a submission. So, pick them up. This is something that I cut open before. This is on my list of autographs I've been looking for. Bought this a couple weeks ago. Not my favorite card, but definitely wanted to add a Fernando Valenzuela autograph to the collection in a Phillies uniform. I already have him as a Dodger, which is where he's best known uh, from, but he did pitch for the Phillies briefly towards the end of his career. So I got this 1995 Fleer, signed in blue. It was authenticated by SGC. 
But uh, Fernando Valenzuela, Fernando Mania, there in the 80s and then in the mid-90s, he was uh, pitching for the Phillies and pitched pretty well for them. Uh, he has a few cards that uh, I would definitely prefer. I've been hoping to get his uh, Flair sh- Showcase. No, it was just Flair. It was like 1995 Flair or 94 Flair. He was in that set. I would love to pick up one of those autographs, but found a couple of these on eBay that had been sitting there and made some offers and finally had one accepted. So happy to add Fernando to the kind of oddball Phillies PC. We got some PWEs here. Let's see what this one is. All right, this is a Bryce Harper from the Fernando Tatis X Tops On Demand product. Neat looking card. I believe that same image is actually going to be used on his 2020 Tops card. Uh, you know, you're going to have the full photo though, but I think this was a kind of a nice looking card, top style and swag. It's a set designed by Fernando Tatis Jr. So. I'm uh, always in the market to uh, just pick up some cheap stuff for the PC. That was only a couple dollars. I did already open this one. Got a Christmas card from my buddy. It come off an egg. So, Mike, thank you for the Christmas card. Appreciate your uh, kind words and taking the time to send this out. And S&R always there, buddy. So, got the Christmas card there. I do have a lot of cards here from Mikey Mark. He was in one of my submissions, sent some stuff my way. This uh, Adam Hazley first Bowman Refractor, one I did not have, so appreciate that addition to the PC. A couple Bryce Harpers. There's a Harper 150th anniversary from the Tops Update set and Nick Pavetta autograph on the 83. I do, uh, I do have that Pavetta already. But appreciate you sending one my way. We got a Hoskins from uh, Topps Gallery. A Hoskins with the Santa hat. It's a variation from Topps Holiday. A McCutcheon photo variation. JT Romuto trade short print. So one I didn't have. This is one of the variations in Topps Heritage. And then a Scott Kingery from Update. Uh, photo variation so Mikey Mark thank you appreciate that Let's see what else we got here we got another PWE that I did rip open and threw it in the bin it's a Bryce Harper from Tops 3D on demand product that was exclusively available on tops.com really cool looking cards I'm a big fan of them so obviously I had to pick up the Harper would like to do the entire Phillies uh, team set from that at some point Get all kinds of stuff in this mail bin. I am obviously well overdue for a mail day, and I actually have a few things coming in shortly. So a couple cards that are going to be really neat to show off in the next few days. And uh, so I'll be back with another mail day coming soon, and it won't be the giant bin uh, that's overflowing this time. But there is a card coming in that was... uh, it's on my 2019 kind of goal, collector's goal list. So I'm excited to get that one in. And uh, just a few other cool pickups that I got at really good prices. So you can never uh, never go wrong when you kind of win something at a great price that you want for the PC but you weren't necessarily looking for at the time. So here's a nice pre-war pickup. It's a blank back. And it is a 1916 M101 for Sporting News. Wilbur Good, PSA 5.5. So you can see that sweet old school looking card. Right fielder for the Philadelphia Nationals. That's why the old school uh, cards kind of designate teams, Nationals or Americans. So it's a neat card there. Happy to pick that one up. I did look up some stuff about Wilbur Good back when I was picking this up, and I don't remember a ton offhand. I think he was just kind of like a middle-of-the-road player, someone who hit in the high 200s, maybe like 280, not a tremendous amount of power, but always excited to pick up neat vintage stuff 
for the collection. This might even be three weeks worth of mail, maybe four weeks. I don't even specifically remember offhand. But I know it's been building up for a while, and it's probably not super smart to let your mail go long periods of time without checking it out, just in case you kind of got the wrong thing or had something missing, but it's kind of what happened. All right, we got a couple slabs here. These were eBay pickups, auction wins. Got a Gem Mint Bryce Harper from 2017 Topps Chrome. It's the Bowman then and now. I think I picked this card up for like three bucks. So it was kind of like, why not? And then I won this one as well. I was looking for something to add to combine shipping. So I picked up a refractor, PSA Gem Mint 10 of Andrew Benatendi from 2017 Topps Chrome. Ben Attendee, still a really good player for the Red Sox. Didn't have a huge year offensively for Boston, so I think his stuff has cooled quite a bit in the hobby, but still a very good player. So I think he's going to be one of those guys who kind of goes down as a fan favorite type of guy. Probably not uh, an all-time great or anything like that, but really good player who can help a team win. All right, we got a... Another vintage pickup here. It's a 59 Tops Johnny Padres PSA 5. I think I bought this one by accident. I already have it in the collection. And I saw it at a good price, and I didn't look at my list, and I was like, uh, I think I have that once I kind of made it official and made the purchase. And then I looked, and yes, yes, I did. So I don't know how I didn't realize that, but it's all right. Got it at a decent price, so I'm not going to complain about that. Some stuff I cut open before. Uh, here's a pickup. Two cards in this slot. One was a Walker Bueller auto relic from Topps Diamond Kings. Probably end up moving that in a live sale at some point. I mostly picked that up just kind of the free combined shipping. This was my main pickup. One of one from Archive Signature Series of Charlie Morton. So, Topps Heritage is a beautiful product, and they're among the best cards to get autographed, unless it's a year that features a facsimile signature, then I don't love it. So you can kind of see that on this card, but Charlie Morton doesn't necessarily have a lot of autograph cards as a Philly. He did spend one season in Philadelphia. He only made like four or five starts before tearing his hamstring, and uh, then obviously went on and had a, a great time in Houston, winning a World Series, and pitched really well this past year with Tampa, so... Still a neat pickup, so a Charlie Morton autograph in a Phillies uniform, and that's one of the reasons I love uh, Topps Archive Signature Series. Just so many cool opportunities to pick up autographs of players in kind of odd teams, uniforms, and different uh, cards and stuff you don't necessarily have. So that's a neat one there. Uh, here's a cool pickup. So this one was inspired by... Uh, a league of their own, she was showing off some E-Tops, or an E-Tops card, I should say, of Mike Trout. And so I was browsing around, and I found that there was an E-Tops release of Pedro Martinez. Now, this case has a bit of a scratch on it. Hopefully that'll buff out. But uh, Pedro Martinez, he does not have a lot of Phillies cards at all. He has 2009 Tops Update, 2009 Tops Heritage High Numbers, and then a few upper deck cards. But he has this E-Tops card. These are numbered to 499 There's a lot of people who never had these uh, redeemed and such. So whether they're really 499 out there on the market, I don't know. Probably not. But it is a beautiful looking card. And it has an incredible amount of shine. So that is a uh, sweet card there. So I'm really happy with that pickup. Just want to cut open already and it's just a New England Patriots lot prism probably a lot of names that most people aren't thrilled to get but I'm happy to add them Dante Hightower orange Steven Goskowski a red wave Goskowski blue wave Gronkowski green Troy Brown and a blue Troy Brown so that was only a couple dollar a lot, pretty cheap. This, I believe, is from Tops. Should 
sure some people love uh, the opening of mail and some people hate it. So if you hate it, I'm sorry. If you love it, don't expect it too often. I know this is the way Nolan, the Elite Code 3, used to do his mail days. All right, so this is from Tops, and this is an autographed relic of Gavin Lux. Pick this one up during the postseason. Youngest Dodgers player ever to homer in postseason, number to 99. Got a piece of bat relic. Got a very small signature, but this guy is uh, top prospects in baseball, top prospect for the Dodgers. Not sure how his hobby is right now, but uh, thought it was a decent pickup. I have a lot of Tops.com coupons from purchases that they kind of build up your points, and you can use it towards Tops um, Now purchases. And your basic Tops Now, you're usually not going to make a ton of purchases, but uh, it's good for the autographs. So that's what I tried to do when I saw the Lux, and I thought it was worth picking up. So pick that one up. So that is my first Gavin Lux. We got. This came in, I wrote this down from JR Sports Card Chronicles. He sent me a, a few things here. It's a button of Reese Hoskins from Topps Archives. And then a Bryce Harper, 150 years of professional baseball manufactured patch. So that's a neat one that I did not have. So thank you for that. This is going to be a lengthy video. It already is a lengthy video. We're over the 16 minute mark we got a Ginter edition here and it is Jose Canseco fan favorite Jose Canseco it's on the 2018 Topps Allen and Ginter it's from 2019 Archives signature series number to 19 pretty clean signature there so I'm happy to add that I do have a few Consecos in the collection but not a ton and this is my first Allen and Ginter his stuff so he has a lot of autographs, and he's in a fair number of products. You can get his autographs at a pretty good price. But if it's a specialty card, something like an Allen & Ginter, or if it features him in an odd uniform, or if it's a certain refractor, his stuff can go at a pretty decent rates because there's so many Conseco collectors out there. So this is actually one of the cheaper Ginters I came across and was able to uh, snatch it up. So I'm happy to add that one to the collection. Got an empty envelope. A couple more. We're getting close to the end of the mail bin. Got this coming in. Uh, we got a few old school cards coming in here. These are from the batter's box. Pretty solid website. Big selection of things you can pick up some oddball stuff from time to time i actually made this purchase on cyber monday one of my few cyber monday deals um picked these up because they had a special so i was able to add a few authentics sgc authentics 1909 to 11 american caramel e91 ed grant so an old school philly just authentic beat up has some marks to it but to me still presents very well in the holder baseball caramels so that's a cool one there. Love adding all these different types of old school things to the Phillies PC. Just so neat to see the lengthy history. And then we got this one that's super beat up. 1911 George Close Candy Company E94 Hans Lober. That one is super beat up. Has some paper loss. And uh, a lot of staining and such. But it's all right. I'm fine with it. It's just another nice old school addition to the collection. So, got a little bit of everything in this uh, in this mail bin. We've got vintage and pre-war and modern and autos. We've got PWEs. We got bubble mailers. All right. So this is Drew Bledsoe pickup pick up for the Drew Bledsoe PC. I love the fact that he's in some products now. 2019 Prism. I don't know what you call these refractors, but they are magnificent. They look amazing. I guess they're laser prisms. So it's not numbered, but was able to pick that one up at a good price, plus either free shipping or cheap shipping. So awesome looking card there. 
Got another PWE. If you guys watched this far into the video, I definitely appreciate it. Oh, it's a Reese Hoskins. This is for, called Momentum Rising, another one of those tops.com products. I think it was a set you had to buy. Obviously, didn't need the whole set. Reese Hoskins was the Philly who was in it, so pick this one up. I think it was pretty cheap. Pretty decent looking. Not my favorite looking card, but looks solid. I do generally like the art cards. We do have a postcard coming. From Henry S. So this is one of his 2,000 plus postcards. So Dear Mike, thanks for support on my channel. Thanks for the breaks and PSA reveals. Merry Christmas, Henry S. So Henry is a longtime YouTuber. He's been a part of this community for a very long time. Collects a ton of different stuff. Collects cards and stamps and postcards and so much more uh, very into TTMing and uh, a great supporter of my channel and I've enjoyed watching his channel over the years so Henry thank you appreciate that Marky Michaels I just found your letter I think I even said your name backwards before so sorry about that got another Lab card here. All right, here we go. This is a Raphael Devers graded card sent with a bunch of extra top loaders. So it's kind of difficult to see the card. There we go. 2018 Tops Chrome Raphael Devers rookie autograph PSA 10 Gem Mint. Slab's got some little surface scratches on it. I'll have to try and clean it up a little bit. Most of the light ones should come out, but uh, nice looking card. Devers is a fantastic player. Had a great, uh, great year, and kind of consider him to be one of those guys who a little bit undervalued in the hobby. So thought I would pick up that autograph. I like following his stuff. I don't think things singles have been as cheap this year as they have been in the past. There's definitely been a little bit of a market dip, but it hasn't been um, that. Crazy low. I'm sure there are some deals to be had, though, of course. And uh, I've let myself be outbid a number of times. So I'm not sure exactly what this is. I don't know what I already lost the envelope for it. But oh, okay, never mind. I know what this is. This is from uh, JT. I believe. Yeah, it's from JT, Triple Crown 24. I picked up a few cards from him in his uh, fire sale. We got this X-Fractor of Roy Halladay from 2013 Finest, and I picked up this lot of Bryce Harpers. So they did a subset available at uh, Walmart in their uh, Tops update boxes, which I didn't buy any from Tops. And then uh, also this... Vladimir Guerrero Jr. from Topps Gallery. Nice looking card. And I believe he threw this one in. It's a Ryan Howard National League 2006 Silver Slugger award card. And that is super thick. So that is a nice one there. So that is from JT. And that is the mail day. I appreciate everyone for watching. You got a little trash to the left cards stacked up to the right and a whole lot more trash thrown down on the ground which i have to clean up so i'm going to go ahead and do that now appreciate your comments your likes and anything you have to say and i will talk to you next time have a great one